so beautiful and so green here. The 60 miles that I had left between Colorado and Wyoming looked exactly as I hoped they would. They were just green and beautiful and full of flowers and fields and just a few mountains. Just, just enough to say goodbye to Colorado. And it was wonderful. The trail here goes through Route National Forest and Zirkel Mountain Wilderness. And it was one of those places where I had the pleasure of being surprised by how beautiful it was. It was pretty unexpected actually, and I loved being there. There was a little bit of snow, but none of it was, uh, was really all that hard to walk through, at least. Not at this point. So yesterday, while I was, uh, I think I was going over some snow and I slipped a little bit and the, um, my internal frame on my backpack became more of an external frame and it was already it's already more like this, so it was already kind of external. I guess I'll have to get that fixed. I mean, I was already going to have to get this mesh fixed. It's kind of more... I mean, I can't really put anything that I want to keep in there. Um, you know, if you have, like, some something, something you're trying to lose, that's a great spot for it. Uh, I'll make it work. I'll, I'll figure something out. Figuring something out might be getting a new back. I found a trail crew working in the mountains with their horses and I just wanted to say thank you guys for doing all that. Um, I really appreciate not having to walk through blowdowns and I also really like getting to see the horses but uh, I'll take both for sure.
my mom made me some uh, dehydrated chili and I'm finishing it off now, but I just wanted to shout out to her because it is so good. Uh, you wouldn't think like cold soaked chili would work out so well, but it works out so, so well. Um, definitely one of my favorite trail meals out here. It was really nice for her to send that to me when the um, my dad and my brothers went to came here to Colorado. So the trail goes uh, that way along this uh, really wonderful, pretty smooth ATV road. But this sign is saying close to close to the, um, the CDT. So nah, it's a sticker. I don't think that's what they meant. I made it to the Wyoming State Line. Um, man, that feels really good. Uh, I feel like I've been in Colorado for forever, and Colorado's been great, but, um, yeah, it's time to go. Um, see, there's the Wyoming-Colorado border. Uh, yep, Colorado, you about killed me. Um, that's fine, it was great. Had a lot of fun, too. I'm so ready for Wyoming. And um, I'm ready to be back in Colorado at some point. <laughs> Guess I'm still at. Whew, well, here we go. Gotta, gotta get started. Next part of the adventure, open up a new section of the map. Just so you know, I just about cried when I get got to that, uh, that Wyoming border. Um, Good. It's a good kind of cry. A lot of mixed emotions about my hike in Colorado. Um, you know, I came out here for a challenge and, and Colorado delivered. What can I expect? Mile 1500. Um, oh yeah. Feels like a big achievement for me. Um, it's like, once again, haven't really done 1,500 miles due to cutting off most of the San Juans and, you know, taking important alternates like the Gila and and the Creed Cutoff and, um, well, not exactly the Creed Cutoff, but, yeah, that's essentially halfway. I mean, in 50 more miles, it'll be halfway regardless of whether or not I did 1500. And I've connected every footstep in between me and Mexico. And I'm in Wyoming. <laughs> it just feels pretty good. Um, it's good to see that sign. 